Hey guys, it's Nicole. So last year I filmed a 23 outfits for 2023 and this year I'm going to be filming a 24 outfits for 2024. This video just takes so incredibly long to film so I really hope that you guys like it. I'm also kind of excited to see the comparison of my outfits and my style from a year ago to now because I feel like I still have a lot of core pieces in my closet that like will be with me forever but I know that my style has evolved and changed so much in the past year. And so I'm really excited to just compare the two videos and I hope you guys like have seen my other ones so you know what I'm talking about. But I hope you enjoy this video. This first outfit is kind of a mixture of my vibe in 2023 and kind of like how it's evolving into now. I bought this dress probably at the beginning of last year and I think this is like my most worn dress to date. Like I'm not usually a dress girly. I guess I will be for like specific like special occasions. But I feel kind of uncomfortable in dresses just because they kind of ride up my butt. Pants are just way more comfortable. This dress specifically I brought to Europe when I was traveling for like five weeks. And I wore this dress so often that I kind of I think got out of my head of like my dislike towards dresses. And this is like the first dress that I feel super comfortable in. But then I kind of mixed it up with like my hat because I bought this hat like maybe two weeks ago. And I'm so hyper fixated on this hat right now. I've been trying to wear it with every single outfit even if it doesn't even match. I don't really know what brand this is it has like a little uh what are those called kangaroos on it i'll put it in the bio i like don't remember but i like can't read this from right now because it's so tiny but also these shoes they're the dog martins uh what are these called i don't i don't really remember what they're called i've literally never worn them i think i wore them out of the house one time and got the most horrendous blisters within like probably five minutes without even exaggerating like, these shoes give me such bad blisters that i just like don't even touch them anymore but i'm determined this year to break them in and to even even if i have to get those like gel inserts on the back because they're so cute every time i put them on for like videos or like any like photos i'm like wow i really wish these didn't like absolutely tear at my heels okay these pants are vintage charlotte russe and these are probably the most sick pants i've gotten like thrifting wise in a really long time they're like satin with velvet flowers all over them and then they have this like tie detail on them but they fit so perfectly i'm wearing them non-stop but i wore them to a friend's giving dinner and the waist is like a little bit big on me and every time I was sitting down, like, my ass crack was coming out, which I was like, well, that's, like, not awesome. So I definitely need to get them, like, uh, altered. But I think once I do that, I will wear them so much more often because I was really excited about the pants until that day when my friend literally took a photo of my ass crack when I was sitting and was like, this is embarrassing for you. And I was like, well, that is embarrassing. So now I need to get them hemmed. But these pants, if I wear a long shirt like this, I'm fine. I'm not fearful of my butt crack, you know what I mean? Honestly, I've been wearing a lot of tube tops too, which I think will definitely carry on into 2024. This is definitely because my old roommate, Aspen, she like actually wears a tube top every single day. And they look so good on her. So I was like, okay, maybe I should try it. And now I really like the feeling of it because also I feel like whenever there's something hugging my armpit, I'm just like gonna sweat. And so a tube top is like the perfect there's nothing there you know what i'm saying and then i just paired it with this little like dangly uh choker necklace that's like orange because i feel like the orange kind of matches my hair very well and then this karen lazar like gold beaded stack i feel like outfits like these are really easy to throw on when you like don't really want to get dressed up it's just like literally pants and a t-shirt but you look put together because of like mixed patterns or just accessories i literally just threw on a bunch of bangles and rings and it looks like i tried harder than i did but in 2024 i'm really gonna try to like do more outfits like this when i'm just running errands because i feel like a lot of the time i just throw on like pajamas i've never worn this combination before and i actually really really like it i think i'm finding out that every outfit i put on when i make videos is an outfit I end up really liking and so I should probably make more videos for you guys because now I have a bunch of outfits saved in my mental calendar. When I put outfits on like this, I ma it makes me realize like how truly girly I wish to always dress. I don't dress girly often, but when I do, I feel like the confidence in my brain just like skyrockets. The skirt's from Ellie, I thrifted it. And then this is from Princess Polly. Honestly, the main star of the show is definitely these shoes. Okay, I took them off my feet because I picked off my toenail polish last night and now my toes look gross. Like, look at them. They're these like wooden, I'm pretty sure from the early 2000s heels. I bought them off Depop and literally when they arrived, the whole like this whole part just came off on both. I didn't, I like hadn't even taken a step yet. I put it on my foot and just lifted my foot and it came off and the wood was just still on the floor. But then I just wood glued it back together and I've worn them multiple times and they're perfect now. And then I'm just wearing this necklace that I got on like a little shop in Croatia. This is from my boyfriend's aunt and then these are from Karen Lazar. But I feel like outfits like this are so cute. Like they're so fun to just like frolic and they're definitely more summer vibes. Like right now it's definitely January and cold outside. I'm so excited for it to get hot again so that I can wear this like and not be cold. I've been playing like an early 2016 playlist for the past like three days and I keep having to stop it right now because I'm playing it in between when I'm getting ready. And I really think that's where my 
mental space is at right now. I think that's the vibes that we should all be going for for 2024. I got these jeans, I thrifted them, and I really didn't think that they were gonna fit me well, and they're like, honestly, probably my favorite jeans at the moment, like I've been wearing them every single day. I think another thing I've noticed, I'm not in the mood to wear anything that's gonna make my stomach hurt. Every time I wear tight pants, tight skirt, tight dress, anything, my stomach just like kills me. Like, I don't know if my stomach's just like that sensitive. I don't wanna like be in a bad mood because my stomach hurts. And so things that are like kind of mid-waisted, low-waisted with a longer shirt are my vibe right now just because they can be tighter without like being on my stomach, if that makes sense. And these are like the perfect rise for that situation. I also like them. They don't have like a waist. Like they're just, they're like, it's not like a raw hem, but you know what I'm saying? They don't have like belt loops or like, it's all, I have no idea what that's called, but it's cool to me. And then I'm just wearing a Ralph Lauren little sweater tank top vibe and then my Sambas. You know, like Jacob Elordi putting books in his pocket and that style, if that makes sense. If you, that is so niche, but you have to understand what I mean. The outfits he is wearing when he puts a book in his pocket. That's the, that's the vibe I'm going for in 2024. Tell me that my outfit just didn't get better because I put a book in my pocket. And like, oh yeah, Cash, just reading my George Orwell book in my fun casual but comfy but cute outfit i might be going mentally insane already by outfit six but tell me tell me a sweatshirt and a fur coat doesn't like slay the day away because i disagree with you if you say no to me like this is probably like not the best way to show you what i'm trying to envision right now because i wish this was not this exact hoodie i would like have this other one that would have looked way better but i like can't find it this one's kind of like way too thick i'm like <laughs> you know what i mean like tell me if you saw someone like oh it, like Jacob Lordy! Jacob Lordy would pull this shit. Jacob Lordy would wear this at the airport with a book sticking out right here. And you can and his Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Like tell me he wouldn't, because he would. And I think I'm realizing that I just want to dress like Jacob Lordy. Okay, just before you even say that you hate this outfit, I completely understand because I really do hate it too. I'm adding it in here because I was searching for this exact jumpsuit for literally months after I saw this girl on TikTok have it in a black version. And I found it at like my hometown thrift store for like $4 and I was like what are the fucking odds that I would find this jumpsuit? I, it's been sitting in my closet for like five months now. Like that's so sad. Like I literally have no idea how to style this. Like I'm trying. I really am. I think it's like the fact that I don't have the right bra and also kind of makes like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's definitely like an arrow to my vagina for some reason. Like it's just not sitting correctly. But I want to style it so badly because in theory it's really cool. It's like a silk vintage jumpsuit with like a lace bodice like that's sick for anyone who has ideas i'm super welcome to it comment down below any thoughts and i will try it out because i'm just really determined to wear this this year because i wanted it so badly and it, i just feel sad that it's rotting in my closet currently but this is what she looks like she's really pretty i just like don't like know what to do with it these pants i actually had in my closet for like probably two years and I wore them every once in a while but they were just really really long on me they're from Revi's denim and if you've ever bought anything from there if you're not like 6'5 they're gonna be long on you and I wore them like a week ago and I was like just so like ugh because they like bunched really weird on my ankles and finally I just made my friend Hannah just like chop off the ends and now they fit me perfectly and I'm like why did I wait two years to just cut the ends off of these pants I just really like the color of them they're just like this really dark green denim and then I put it on with this vintage Guns N' Roses tank top and then I thrifted this bag it's from Rampage and it's like denim with fringe and I've never been able to style it until literally this exact second when I put this outfit on I was like wait this would look so cute because I've been trying to figure out what to wear with it but nothing ever like fit right it just didn't like fit the aesthetic of whatever vibe I was like dressed in that day and now I feel like it fits perfectly and I'm really excited about it. My brain is like telling me to be done but I really want to try it on with the hat that I am hyper fixated on. Okay the answer is it looks good and I was right. I got this purse like a week ago when I was thrifting and it's like a little basket purse and literally reminded me so much of the purse like I mean like a, a version of the purse that Jane Birkin used to wear like you know she used to carry like a literal weaved a basket and used it as a purse this is a more practical version of that i guess oh this is my jane birkin-esque outfit for 2024 i used to wear this shirt literally probably every single time i ever have gone to the beach in the past like four years and then i just didn't touch it for like a really really long time and i just put it on right now and i really like it like i don't know why i stopped wearing it and then these pants if you've seen my tiktoks um a year ago i wore these pants and i ripped them down the back but 
for the purpose of this video, they're fine on the front, so I'm just not going to turn around and show you my literal butt crack. I wanted to show you another version of an outfit with this fur coat just because the other one was definitely not like a 10 out of 10 in a lot of people's eyes. This top, it's like I have literally this exact bra top in like five different colors from Urban Outfitters or like the out from under bras, I think. They're the comfiest and like perfect bra to like add a pop of color to your outfit and literally I want them in every single color that they possibly sell them in. And then this necklace my boyfriend's aunt gave me, it's like dark blue and red and then has this stone in the middle. These pants used to literally be so big on me and I realized I've gained a lot of weight in the past year, which is fine. Like, it's fine. I'm not... I do cry about it, but it's fine. Like, I just need to get over that because I'm literally 20 years old. Like, of course my body's gonna change. I'm not, like, 16 anymore. It's like, they used to, like, be too big and now they're perfect, so I guess I can't complain. Black corduroy, and then I'm wearing them with this, like, Budweiser belt that I thrifted, like, a long time ago, which I think is so sick. I, I literally, every time I wear it, I get compliments. And then this top's from Princess Polly. It says vodka... <sighs> vodka or cherry vodka soda it's just a little basic simple outfit because my brain is slowly exploding even though i'm like not even halfway done with this video wore this outfit a few times like in the past year but it's just such a good like i don't know it's not like a staple outfit because everything's pretty like not basic if that makes sense but i just i really like the pairing of these two pieces together like every time i wear either one of them i want to wear it with each other that literally made no sense, but I know that you know what I mean. I don't know where these pants are from. It, like, says something on the back, and literally I can't figure out what it says. I've tried, like, I've had so many people try to read it. No idea what it says. And there's, like, no tag that is legible for me to tell you the brand, which is so sad because I would buy more of them if they had, like, other colors. This top is also from, like, Banana Republic, which is so surprising because I feel like Banana Republic used to be very, like, safari-themed, and then it turned into, like, office, office wear, I guess. And I think this was definitely when it was still safari-esque. Tell me this is not literally like a replication of the vintage Betsy Johnson dresses that like are so incredibly hard to find. I've tried really hard. You can find them, but they're going to be like $4.50 on Depop or something. And I'm just like not down to spend that on a dress. But this is from Urban Outfitters. And look how pretty it is. Like literally fits so pretty. It's just like dark red, like silky material with like black lace details on it. Oh my god. I love it. I like am so excited to actually wear this because I just haven't yet and it's been sitting in my closet for like two months now. Just like not had a like circumstance that I needed to wear a dress like this to. But I know some part of this year will lead me to finally wear this dress. I literally got this dress yesterday from a PR package from Reformation. I styled it exactly how I'm wearing right now. I'm so excited to actually wear this out. Heights are from Urban Outfitters. Belle I thrifted but I've seen a lot of similar ones on Free People. Reformation and then my shoes are Steve Madden. Tights are just going to be a really good way in 2024 to add like a pop of either color or like pattern to like a really plain outfit because without the tights that I'm wearing right now this would be like a pretty basic just like plain outfit you know what I'm saying but the tights add like a whole nother level of texture and pattern to the outfit. I got this top in Barcelona and it's from Urban Outfitters but I feel like the stores like Urban Outfitters, PacSun, um, free people, any of the stores that I found like that in Europe always had way better selections than they do here. I don't really know why. I don't usually like mesh tops because they kind of remind me of like 2015 Brandy Melville black sparkly mesh top. But I thought this one was sick. It kind of has like this face on it and then like all these different like shades of red. I just put on this silver stone, like red stone necklace and then this matching silver bangle. And these jeans, they're from London Jeans. I thrifted them with my friend Kylie like literally a century ago but specifically like this tag of london jeans i like actually cannot find anywhere the rare chance that i end up do wearing a mini skirt i always have to pair it with something like really oversized and big on top just because i can't have something on the bottom that's super tight and something on the top i will literally want to die i honestly really like this outfit though and i wish that i enjoyed mini skirts more i should probably try to find a mini skirt I feel like that would make this so much easier on my life. This black mini skirt is just from Princess Polly, and then the shoes, Doc Martens, socks, uh, I think Target. And then this bag is thrifted, but it's Wilson's leather. And this jacket I actually got from Melrose in LA. It's like a vintage Harley Davidson jacket, and if you've ever been to Melrose, everything there is super expensive. Like, literally, I was assuming that this jacket was going to be like $300. And I walked up and asked the guy, and I was like, oh my god, I love this jacket, like how much is it? And it was like this older man. And he was like, oh, like, I'll give it to you for, like, 40 bucks. And I was like, oh, my God, yes. It's just this, like, dark red corduroy Harley Davidson jacket, and it says Harley right here. And the sleeves are all, like, messed up and, like, 
destroy distress but i feel like that kind of adds to like the whole like chill like lay back aesthetic of the jacket would you believe it if i told you i've had this jacket in my closet for literally over a year and i've never worn it why am i stupid because this is like such a cute outfit and literally i don't know why i've never worn this jacket i got it at a consignment store and look at the stars it's like dark brown and then it has like lace-ups and this skirt is from princess folly it's the same one as the black one that i just wore just in yellow and then these boots are vintage fry boots that i've literally was searching for for months and i found them i think they cost me like 200 dollars, which is actually really good for fry boots and then i just added this little lace piece to one of the boots i feel like adding little things like that just adds personality to a piece in your closet and makes it more like unique i feel like this outfit is on a very thin line of schoolgirl and cool Girl. I was reached out to by the brand my mom made it. That's who made the skirt They're like hey Do you want to pick out a few pieces from our site and we'll send them to you literally? I've been seeing like 10 different girls on TikTok that are like pretty big like fashion influencers and they picked out the same skirt So I'm like, okay, I guess I must be semi correct in my sense of fashion just a thrifted sweater i really really wish i think it's handmade which kind of sucks i really wish i could buy more of them because i've been literally hyper fixated on this sweater for like months now it's just such a good crop sweater and it has like a really big like turtleneck and the sleeves are really wide so i think since i've dyed my hair i've had a newfound like appreciation for the color blue i think like a navy blue against red hair just kind of looks really cool i didn't think that color combination would look as good as it does but I, ever since I dyed my hair, literally my whole closet has turned into like navy blue tops. Then I just paired it with my Steve Madden um, motor boots. Okay, this is a more casual like everyday outfit and I honestly think it would be really boring if I didn't add this purse. This is just like a huge denim like bow purse. It's from My Mom Made It also is like the skirt. A statement purse sometimes is all you need to make your outfit look really interesting. This shirt is just a vintage Harley Davidson shirt also stolen from my friend Kylie. Honestly, I think a lot of my style has developed from stealing Kylie's clothes. And so, Kylie, if you're watching this, love you. I know cheetah is literally becoming like a trend right now. I, I honestly have a really strong personal opinion about the whole trending idea of like, ballerina trend and then now cheetah and mob mob wife and clean girl aesthetic like all of that i feel like is so toxic specifically to the younger generation just because it's like you're constantly trying to completely change yourself into something for someone else because it's a trend now for literally a month i think wear whatever the hell you want to wear and be confident in that because it's like your own style you'll probably say not more than if you're conforming to any trend that is going to be trending on tiktok for literally two weeks right now cheetah is a trend so i guess if you do want to wear trends because there's nothing wrong with that necessarily i'm just saying you don't have to um this could be an outfit for you pants are from princess Polly. they're just like pinstripe i also love to wear like mixing patterns without them being like so in your face like sometimes mixing patterns that are in your face is really cool too but a little bit harder to do without it looking messy and then i'm just wearing my sambas to make it more of a casual look. Okay, I've literally done like, I think like 22 outfits. I don't even know. I kind of lost track. I hope it's 24, but my camera is about to die. And so I love you guys. I hope this video was entertaining. I hope you either found some inspiration or it was just fun to watch me struggle for I, however long this video is after I edit it. But I love you guys. Please comment down below and like this video and follow me if you want to see more.